course it's a bit of a wood tradition to uh, have a tour of the accommodation for our holiday. Now today is Friday, we've been here all week and I've yet to do said video. It's a little bit breezy today but we'll duck in and have a very very quick run around the accommodation. Here we go, through the main door where we have the kitchen and small little breakfast dining table. Lots of odd little places like this one. Got the fridge freezer. This one, which is an ante room. Um, utility room through here. Where well, there's another entrance to kind of nowhere really. Very echoey. I'm not quite sure what this building once was. So it's not a cottage as such. Then into our great games room. Um, Granddad is unbeaten this holiday, although I don't think he's played me yet. And um, the boys have enjoyed their time in here this week. There's a foosball table down here as well. Uh, there you go, there's the entrance. We have our own gated entrance to our little space, which is all very nice. So yeah, the foosball's there, TV, pool table, and so on. And we can make our way back through the funny little rooms, through the kitchen, into the ridiculously large dining room where you have a great big dining table, but then it also kind of turns into a bit of a hallway thing down that way, which is where the bedrooms are. Uh, and then back here, there is a door there to the lounge, but then there's also two sliding doors from the dining room into the really nice space. This is nice here, Harry, isn't it? Yeah, this particular place is Harry's favourite. It's nice and light and airy. Great views there over the downs through the big picture windows. It's really nice. And uh, we've stood out there and watched the stars. I watched the rain on the first day we were here. Milo likes running around after the rabbits. And uh, there's the little, he calls it a Wendy house, the bloke that runs the place. And there's Mummy or Melissa over there waving at us. Lots of bunnies out there in the field. Uh, Milo's been pretty good, but he does like to watch them. So anyway, back to our little tour into this cavernous dining room. Just a quick duck over here into this, again, this odd space. This looks like some kind of reception area, doesn't it, really? You know, it doesn't sort of go anywhere. We haven't used it. Uh, and so on. Oh, man, back the dining space and uh, onto the bedrooms. Now we've not used this bedroom but there's a twin room there, very nice. All very basic. A lot of the stuff's been basic because of the Covid rules so a lot of the soft furnishings are gone. It's a little downstairs toilet that again doesn't really fit but been very useful. And then through this door into the main bedrooms Harrison's enjoyed the bunk bedroom And then on this side is one of the bathrooms. This is the proper bath bathroom. There is a shower over there. But again, it's a huge space, uh, as all of the rooms are. Uh, is Ollie in there? Yeah. He is, right, so we won't go in there. Ollie's got his twin room. And here is uh, a big double bedroom. This is where me and Melissa have been. Again, with the nice windows out over the garden there. Like so. And back to the final bedroom, which is where Nan and Grandad have been. In here. And then there's their room there. Now, I've not really been in here, so let's just have a quick look at the view through here. Which again, that's a very pleasant view there, out over the garden. Yeah, we don't really see that garden because it's on the other side of the of the building. But um, yeah, and that's then the fourth bedroom. One, two, three, four, no, fifth bedroom. Yeah, so there's Nan and Grandad's, Mum and Dad's, Oliver's in that one, Harrison's in that one, and then there's another twin room here as well. So yeah, there we go. So that's the main building. And uh, we'll just go back through and outside. 
have a little look at the garden. Uh, gravel drive, enough parking for a few cars if you wanted it. And then out here, past the big patio doors. Table and chairs out there. And the view there over the downs. And uh, this is Milo, who's been very good on me. Good boy. <laughs> and uh, when we turned up here, we were warned about the holes, which had all been filled in or weren't there. In the old job on them um, and then just the other side of the trees here you might be able to see there's some horses there's some horses over there uh, have a little view is we are on a caravan park so actually over here is a caravan storage area um, so you can bring your caravan over to the island and keep it here and then the rest of it is for caravans and motorhomes and it is very good it's um we walked around yesterday it's all very clean and tidy um has all the facilities that you'd expect but very basic there's no shop there's no pub there's no club there's no nothing like that but it's all um immaculate so thoroughly recommended yeah, well there goes the horsey he's just stopped now i'm filming him there he is and there he goes he <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the Wendy house, or the shed, as you might call it. He's gone running all the way down there. Well, yeah, there you go. 